Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. A quick uh, tip and trick that I'm going to tell you today that uh, the problem statement is that wherever we are running our test cases through our automation, for example, I'm running it through XML file and then after that we are generating the report every time, right? Like either testng report or LAR report or extend report or some HTML file that we are generating it or any other kind of report that you are generating. So for example, let's see if I right click on my regression.xml and then I'm going to run as a uh, test ng. And then I'll tell you what is the uh, problem that we face. Problem means that every time I have to copy the location path of that particular file, the HTML file, right click on the project, refresh the project, and then again, right click, and then go to properties and then copy the path. And then we have to paste that part in the browser. Then we will able to see the report there. So for example, let's see the execution is uh, started now and the browser is getting open. I'm just executing some simple login uh, related test cases. So login is done and the execution is completely done now. So what we do generally, because every day we are writing the code and every day we are running the test cases back to back because we have to check that my, whatever the updates I'm doing, whatever the code that I'm writing is really working or not. And I really want to see the quick report also in the HTML. So in that case, what we do, right click on it. And then after that, we go to refresh. And when we refresh it, let's see, for example, I'm generating this particular HTML report. So then again, I right click on it and then I go to properties. Then I just uh, copy the path of this particular uh, HTML file path. And then I'll open my browser and then I'll enter the path of this particular .html file. Then I enter it and then I see the report here. So if you do the same thing, let's see for next one hour, if you are executing 10 times, your test cases 10 times you have to repeat the same thing again and again again and again right so there is a solution i can give you through the command line also you can do that or you can write a simple system a code also you can do it here in your eclipse okay so let's see how to do that so i'll do one thing let me just close this html file first i'll show you through the command line so for example let's see if you are running from the maven so generally what we do i'm running let's see maven clean install okay and uh, Maven clean install. After that, you write and 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 then use this command open. If you are using Mac machine and the Linux machine, use open. If you are using Windows machine, you simply use a start and then make sure Maven and everything is installed in your system. And then I'm writing open what? Open. It means you go to my reports folder and under that report folder, there is one HTML file which is available here and open in the default browser. So let's see my default browser is Chrome browser. It will open there. Okay. And then I'm going to run it again, right? I'm not going to open it. Now, the moment the execution has happened immediately, it will open the browser also here. So see that execution is started. Now it will just simple parse the pomade XML file, compile the project. And then for a demo purpose, I'm just giving you only one login page test. So let it run. It will open the browser now for me. So test ng is getting executed. Browser name is equal to Chrome. Let it open in the Chrome browser. So in the existing browser, it will open that. So see this execution is done. And then after that, once your build is successfully done, you see that the report is getting generated here. So I don't need to go to the path and right click, copy the path of that particular HTML file. I don't need to do this. Same thing if you, what you do for the LEO report manually. For the LEO report, what we do, again, we right click on this particular project. And then after that, you go to refresh. Then after that, you open this LAO results. You see that JSON file or attachment files are generated here. Then what we do, we go to the terminal. And then once the execution is done, generally what we do, we run this command, LAO serve. Then after that, LAO results. Every time we have to go to the project directory and run this particular command. So what we can do, along with this maven command itself we can give this command as well so see that it is actually generating the report for me and the report is getting opened here for the earlier report that total six test cases are there but i don't want to do this thing as well i just simply say that uh, once the execution is done open my earlier report as well so what will you do once again maven clean uh, install and then end and operator that you have to use it here and, and use for to segregate or to separate the two commands. First, you execute the Maven command. After that, you simply write LR that uh, serve and then where exactly the report is coming in the LR serve results. That's it. So again, see this 
after the execution i don't need to go to my project or refresh my project or run this lr serve command once again within the same command single command just simple use it and then you just simple open it will just open the execution report or your uh, test report in the browser in your default browser here okay first of all sorry it will execute my test cases once the execution is done then it will open the lr report here okay so it's done and then after that let's see is it really opening the report automatically or not so yeah it says generating the report to the temporary directory the system is slightly slow today but that's okay now you see that in the default browser it's opening so i don't need to go to the workspace in my eclipse again and again to refresh the project right now if you don't want to do it like this right if you don't want to execute let's see maven is not working or some issue with the command line or something like this then in that case you can write a code also for that i can use some uh, you know process shell programming or i can use quickly one um, see this i'll show you the desktop uh, libraries also i can use it which is there in java and then i can check that as well so let me just simple delete these reporting folder it will be generated once again <clears throat> then i'll do one thing maybe in your framework you must be having some you know before annotation or after annotation so let's see in my case for this particular framework i have this particular base test.java where exactly i have uh, all my before test annotation or any setup things that we have written so what i want that okay once execution is done simple close the browser and everything is done see i'm going to enable these two code i'll share this particular code you guys can take it from here and then what i want i'm simple saying at the rate after suite open html reports or open my reports automatically so simple i have written one try catch block one code for the extend report i simple say i'm creating the object of file object if this particular file is available under this particular folder and then i'm using desktop dot get desktop and dot browse dot browse will open my default browser and whatever the html file dot to uri because the file path i really want to present in the form of url or uri so i simple say go to this particular i mean give this particular uri to this particular browser if the file is available if it is available it will open that if it is not available it will give you report file not found something like that okay same thing for the lr report what we have given for lr report i'm using the process builder which is there already see all these process builder class are coming from the java.lang package i'm saying that i want to run lr serve lr result so comma separated you give the path of your uh, lr make sure that for the lr where exactly the lr uh, you have downloaded you have to give the path of your lr c drive or d drive if you have it so just simple give the full path of lr serve lr results after that with the help of process builder inherit io and then i'm starting the builder and i'm waiting for uh, you know process to start and then after that simple say lr report so successfully and it will open the browser so let's see is it really working or not so now in that case you don't need to execute directly from the command line or from the terminal or from the command prompt if you really want to run it from the regression.xml also you can easily do that you see that you simple right click and go to run as test ng now let's see is it really opening now good thing is that it will open both the reports for me one is the extend report html file and it will open the lr report also for me so let's see you see that the execution is started here and the browser will open <coughs> so see this browser name is chrome so browser will open here and uh, once the execution is done i don't need to do any refresh the project or copy the location of the path or running the command and all those things nothing simple login execution is done okay now let's see is it doing this thing or not okay it's publishing opening my browser see that first html report and in the next browser tab it should open the lr report as well now it's opening in the same browser in the new tab it's opening my lr report as well okay so it's not a big deal i thought of creating this video i'm sure that you must be facing this thing which is taking a lot of time because every time i have to go to my clips and then right click on my project and refresh it and then copy the path and then open the browser and paste that particular uh, you know dot html location path completely 
so better you save this time and then just quickly open that so you can use it through the code also just simple make it at the rate after suite because at after suite will be executing once everything is done and the good thing about programmatically is that it will open both the reports you can open it directly from here okay and you can do from the terminal also if you really want that okay so from the terminal you just need to execute this command maven clean install earlier serve earlier results that also you can do it so both will be really useful and now if i really want to you see that on the console the server is started for the earlier report if you really want to terminate press ctrl c or simple terminate from here and the earlier report will be down simple again you run it every time it will open the browser and open the report for me automatically okay within the after the execution immediately it will open that we don't need to do it any manual thing here so try to find out these small small manual things that you are doing in your automation or in your work every day small small things matter to improve the time to save the time i hope this is helpful that's all for this video thank you so much i'll see you in the next video till then take care and god bless you all guys